Come home from work and we got car parts. Yeah, buddy. Who wants to guess what these are? What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Stenstrom and welcome to the channel. So if you haven't been following along, this is video number four of the series actually. It is Tuesday and we are alone. <laughs> Craig uh, went to a good buddy's son's birthday party on a Tuesday, but friends first, all this, all this can wait, not a big deal. But I'm here to see what I can knock out because we gotta keep this thing going because we have tuned originals on Saturday. Now, I know I'm not gonna complete everything that was on my list, but it is what it is. We will get it done after the show. The car will at least be blue by the show. Doesn't matter if it's rain or shine. I will be there with this car wrapped. Now, today, what are we going to do? I have the material basically ready. Actually, this piece right here isn't trimmed and everything, but that is the piece that's gonna go on this fender. Um, I still have, this is the door, and that is the quarter, pill, quarter panel <laughs> and pillars. Now I'm not going to tack that today, that actually is really nice to have a helping set of hands for that. So we're going to try to knock out this passenger rear door, this passenger fender, and first of all, let's, let's backtrack. We're going to get these fog light, that's probably really bright, sorry. We're gonna get these fog light bezels sanded and prepped to paint gloss black. Honestly, I think that is the only chrome piece that I'm gonna end up painting. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these black chrome. Uh, black chrome. The piece on the rear bumper is black chrome. That's all going gloss black. I think that's the only thing I really have to paint. So let's just see how much we can knock out. If we can get, if we can get this fender, door handles, this door, door handle. Um, we got some stuff torn apart in here that may or may not be getting wrapped. We'll see if I have time to do that before this weekend. I think that's a solid plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding, prepping, getting it all cleaned up for the bezels. We're gonna go ahead and get those painted first since it's still sunny and everything outside and the temperature is nice. We'll get these done and then we can come inside and attack these two panels, see where the night is, see how much I've actually gotten done today. We'll go from there, guys. So first thing is we're gonna clean these. We're gonna clean them with wax and grease remover, make sure all the bugs, whatever may or may not be on here is off before we start sanding. If you sand with all of that on it, what you could potentially do is sand all of that grease, bugs, anything else that may or may not be in it into the plastic or the panel itself. Then when you go to paint it, it's just contaminated and you'll have fish eyes and all sorts of other stuff. So let's clean this, then we can sand it. You know, when these are on the car, they don't look that bad, but this is after being cleaned. I mean like, really scrubbed. These look terrible. I am happy that these are going black. So as you can tell, I got a little makeshift paint area out here. Where I just painted some stuff white earlier. Personally, I love Rust-Oleum. It really does bond to wood, metal, plastic. Personal preference, you may bash it, say what you'd like. I've been using Rust-Oleum for 
a long time painting things and we will see the longevity of this. I will do a follow up, see how well it holds up. And y'all can bash me or whatever you want. But first thing I'm gonna do is probably two or three light coats and then one good wet coat to give it a solid smooth finish. And I will show you guys how it looks when it's done. Where's my dog? Knox. Yeah. All right. Let's get some painting done. So here's after one light coat. I can't spray and record and I definitely don't want to get over spray on my phone while I'm recording. So I will show you guys, I'm gonna hit a couple more light coats that one solid coat. I'm not gonna show you all of that, but I will show you the finished product. All right guys, so this is the final product. I am happy with it. That is 100% just this, no clear coat three light coats and one wet coat to pretty much eliminate all the orange pill and everything else. I am happy with it. So we'll let this dry for a while. What are you doing, Knox? Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> what, you gonna go inside? Come on, all right, let's go wrap. tucked everything of course I mean I'm gonna have to get in here and get all that done get this inside tucked get all the wheel well but that's all I'd say we're getting somewhere guys oh I didn't show you this last night so Went ahead and got a lot of the hood tucked. Did about a quarter inch under just to be safe. Oh yeah. Well, since I'm by myself, all I can do really is lay these and then put it on time lapse, kind of show you. Today is gonna be kind of a boring day. Um, I actually do have a buddy showing up to pick up a grill that I wrapped for him and an emblem that we did. But until he gets here, I'm just gonna keep doing this and knocking panels out. Fender came out great. The edges, the front, the corners, I'm very, very happy with it. Knock this out. I'll show you guys how to reinstall the door handles, which I didn't show on the other side. And that was kind of a learning process because again, I can't find videos anywhere on how to remove or install door handles. So later on, I'll make a full video, a full DIY on how to remove and install the door handles. But until then, um, let's just knock this panel out. Okay, 
so you'll see in that time lapse that I, I'm still holding a squeegee. So you'll see in the time lapse that I put the paper up, folded it back, took the top off, laid it on that body line, and then laid the bottom. But then you'll see that I pulled back and I messed with the backing. So what happened was I got a bunch of trash on the adhesive and it was from, it was from when I cut it, sorry, you're not gonna see it. So it left little frays on this and all these little frays from not having a clean cut in turn got on the back of the wrap. Now I was able to get them out and the only thing, there it is. So you'll see a little bit of it, but it was either scrap the entire panel or live with those little spots that you don't see unless you're completely up close. Okay, so now that this door, the rear passenger door is done, I said that I would show you guys how to reinstall the door handles. Now, this is gonna be interesting because I need two hands. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll figure this out. Woo. All right, bear with me, guys. So first things first, so we gotta put this thing back on, which this is gonna be really difficult to hold the camera and do. I might have to wait and show you guys this later. So this door is completely done. Gapped up real nice. Oh, we're not gonna, well, that's perfect. You don't see why, that's the whole plan. Got it all tucked down around the side. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. I did the panels I said I was going to do. I wanted to put in the handles for you guys and demonstrate how to do that. Now, I attempted it, but I need two hands. I can't hold the phone to record and install the handles, so we are gonna have to wait for Craig or somebody else to help me out or hold the phone for me. Honestly, I'm kind of tired. I haven't gotten much sleep the past three or four nights doing this, so it being just around nine o'clock, about 8.45ish, I'm gonna call it so I can edit this. Uh, I was getting a little bummed out, to be honest, recording this and just doing, you know, time lapses and doing the exact same stuff that I had already done for you guys until I just got a comment on YouTube uh, about 10 minutes ago that said, thank you for documenting this step by step. Um, I'm paraphrasing, I don't know word for word what he said. But it, it made me happy. I know not all of you are gonna enjoy this or gonna watch every video or even get to this point and I'm just doing an outro for myself. But for those of you that are, that may get to this far, man, you know what, I really appreciate you guys and it means the world to me. Um, those of you who follow and comment and hit me up on Instagram and, you know, make me feel like me doing this is worth it. So thank you guys, I, I genuinely appreciate you and if it wasn't for you guys watching all this, I wouldn't be doing it and I really enjoy doing this. Now we'll get to more fun stuff, this whole repetitive blah will be over soon. The car is almost blue, we got some installs, I still got my Moshi, <laughs> Mishimoto parts to install, uh, I gotta do the old Change the oil, do the coolant flush. Uh, I'm gonna tint the headlights before Saturday, which is simple. Mm. Still gotta try to do the dish on the wheels. That's gonna be fun. But I'm gonna call it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Again, thank you. For all of you who made it this far from the bottom of my heart, I genuinely appreciate you guys. Fun, fun stuff is to come. It is only Tuesday. 
We have till Friday night, Saturday morning to get this done. And it's gonna happen. Because you can see we got a blue car behind us. And it's sexy. So I thought the night was over, but my buddy Corey stopped by, who I wrapped his grill. I'll just show you. So we wrapped this grill white. This is what Craig was actually finishing up in one of the videos. So let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Headlights like wash out everything. Uh, you know, well, it's nighttime, so it's gonna be hard to tell, but. Dude, for wrap and paint, it actually matches pretty well. Well, now we're gonna call it a night. We got the grill in. He's happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm calling it night. I got to edit this up, guys.